I think a very simple reason why we should have onshore processing is because that's what we signed up for. When we signed the Refugee Convention, and we were one of the first countries to do so, that's what we agreed to do. We agreed to provide protection to people who were in our country and were found to be in need of it. So it's very simple. It's a legal obligation that we have. And the issues that are associated with offshore processing that the Refugee Council has concerns about is a lot of the time that's based on a policy of deterrence that's essentially based on causing harm to people who are already vulnerable or putting people in dangerous situations. And we at the Refugee Council agree, as I'm sure everybody does, that a situation in which people feel they have to be, get onto a boat and risk their lives in order to find safety is not an acceptable one, and that's one that does have to be addressed. But at the same time, we don't think it's acceptable to cause further harm or further risk to already vulnerable people in order to achieve that. So we believe that in maintaining an onshore processing system would be the most humane way of dealing with the problem, particularly given that Australia has a legal obligation to do so. But at the same time, we don't see that as the end of the story. We do have to have an onshore processing system, but we would like to see the Australian government working constructively with other countries in the region so that refugees can find protection wherever they seek it, that they don't feel that they can't find protection closer to home, that they feel compelled to risk their lives in order to find safety somewhere else, because simply the reality of the situation for a lot of people in Asia as in other regions of the world is that protection is very elusive and even after leaving their country they're usually in a very unsafe situation still. So we'd see yes onshore protection as being uh, something positive that Australia should maintain but at the same time we'd like to see Australia doing other things to try and resolve the protection issues in our region because they are very challenging and Australia could play a lead role in resolving them.